Good evening. It's in connection with the shooting of a man earlier this year, not far from a North York detachment. The victim claiming he was fired on with little warning and not posing any sort of public threat. CTV's Allison Hurst is live with tonight's top story. Allison. We spoke with Devin Fowlin's lawyer, who tells us that he's still dealing with the after effects of that February incident, the psychological trauma and the physical injuries. Fowlin was homeless at the time, and his lawyer says he's now precariously housed. So dealing with this has been a challenge. An officer is now facing charges in connection to these injuries Devin Fowlin suffered on February 27th. We were encouraged. Um, this is a step in the right direction uh, in finding some justice uh, for Mr. Fallon and some accountability, frankly, for us all. That morning, Fallon was walking his dog in a park near Black Creek Drive and Trithui Drive when police were called to the park for reports of a man with a knife. According to the SIU, two officers fired their conductive energy weapons and one fired his gun twice. They shouted one command and immediately I felt a shot and right after I just heard multiple shots going off. I dropped the knife. I immediately ran in like, like in the back of the park. Fallon spoke with CTV News about four weeks later. At the time, he was taken to hospital in critical condition. I feared for my life immediately after I got shot in my arm. The SIU began an investigation as it does with any incident involving a police officer that may have resulted in death, serious injury, sexual assault and or the discharge of a firearm at a person. The organization has announced today that Constable Andrew Davis has been charged and faces one count of aggravated assault and one count of discharge firearm with intent to maim, wound, disfigure or endanger life. Aggravated assault is a very serious uh, charge to be leveled against someone. Uh, the uh, discharge of a firearm with intent to harm or maim is as well. Uh, that would, those charges should be occasioned with jail time. Uh, we query um, what evidence there was uh, that, that made uh, the SIU uh, and, and perhaps the prosecutor decide not to level uh, uh, attempted murder charge here. Fallon's lawyer says the charges are a positive step forward, but it does not erase what happened and what Fallon has gone through. Toronto police would not tell us what Davis's employment status was before these charges, saying that it was an employment matter. But they can confirm now that he is suspended with play and just ha and had just over one year on the service at the time of the incident. He will be in court October 3rd. Reporting live, I'm Allison Hurst. Michelle, back to you.